OK. So what we want to do for this problem is we need to graph them. And remember, ladies and gentlemen, when graphing, the main important thing that I want you guys to do is set them up into slope-intercept form. y equals mx plus b. So what I'd like you guys to do for each one of these is I'd like you to set it into that format. So that's the first thing you're going to do. So the first equation is 2x plus y equals 3. And your second equation is y equals 1 half x minus 9 halves. Now the cool thing, the cool thing is this, is this already in that format? Yeah. Yeah, yeah it is. So do we have to do anything? No. no. It looks a crazy equation because it has all these fractions, but we're good. All right? We're cool. We don't have to change anything of this. This, however, we have to solve for y. So we've got to get the y by itself. So we need to get rid of this 2x. This 2x is being added to the y because it's positive. So to get rid of it, I'm going to subtract a 2x on both sides. Therefore, I get y equals 3 minus 2x. Now, that almost looks like that form. The y is by itself. However, when you look at this, Mallory, the x, these should be switched around if it was going to look like in that form. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rewrite it as y equals negative 2x plus 3. Because that 3 is positive, I can write plus 3. It's not a negative 3, though. The sign in front is going to tell you if it's going to be positive or negative. So that's a, that, there's no negative sign in front, so it's a positive 3. OK? So I have y equals negative 2x plus 3, and y equals uh, 1 half x minus 9 halves. So let's go ahead and graph this. So to graph, because we need to solve, to solve by graphing, we need to graph them and determine where their intersection point is, if there is one at all. So what I look up here is I say y equals 1 half x minus 9 halves. All right? um, first thing we need to do is graph the y-intercept. That is your b, your constant. So I need to determine negative 9 halves. What is that? What is the, actually that value? Where is that? Yes, Yago? Uh, Be careful, though. For your slope, that's exactly correct. But this is your constant. This is actually your y-intercept. This is actually the value where your graph crosses the y-axis. So that's what's tricky about this problem, because they're giving you this fraction, and they're expecting you to want to think something like that. So you've got to be careful. This, what is this in um, decimal form? Does anybody know? Yeah, 4.5. 9 divided by 2 is negative, or negative 9 divided by 2 is negative 4.5. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down to negative 4.5, and I'm going to graph that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So I'm going to make a dot between negative 4 and negative 5. Then what my slope now is saying, Yago, 1 half tells me to do what? Up 1, how far? Up 1 what? Yeah, so I'm just going to go up 1 unit over 2. And I'll make another dot there. And then I'll go up 1 unit. Oops, I'll probably be like right there. Yep, you're right in the middle. So you're staying in the middle. So then I go up one again, and then over two. And yes, you're going to want to stay right in the middle. OK, you could also go down one to the left two. No, I'm saying up one to the right two, or down one to the left two. Right. Negative 4.5 is where I cross the y-axis, right here. That's negative 4.5, right there. So now I graph. Connect the points and graph. All right, so now we look at y equals negative 2x plus 3. So now the y-intercept for this problem is at positive 3. So I go up to 3 and make a dot. Now the slope is not a fraction. So this one was easy, up 1 over 2. But this one, it's just a number. So remember, we've got to change that to a fraction. Now this is down 2 to the right 1. So you go down 2 to the right 1. Down 2 to the right 1. Down 2 to the right 1. And I don't know. I don't have a perfect graph, but I'm just going to assume that it intersects at that point. So I connect my graph. All right. And then we look at this point, this intersection point. Where is this intersection point? So you could say at 3, comma, negative 3. You're right. What does the question ask? It says solve, right? 
solving is what we're doing is we're finding the values that make um, these two equations equal to each other. All right? So I'm not, I didn't say graph. The, qu the question didn't say graph the two equations, does it? No, it says solve, right? Think about it this way. Actually, all right, so anyways, the solution is 3 comma negative 3. All right? Let me make an example. Let me 